This is calculator question number 11 from the March 2019 SAT. College Board gives us both a table and a function describing the lengths of channel catfish and flathead catfish in an Iowa River. And their question here is, according to the model, which of the following is closest to the expected age for the nearest whole year of a flathead catfish that is 31 year, inches long? We have channel catfish, which I did in this color, and flathead catfish, which College Board doesn't give you a color difference, but because my writing is not as clear, I used a different color for flathead catfish. And here they're asking about flathead catfish, which is nice because I don't have an equation for channel catfish. And I want to know what is the age of the fish if f of t which is 3t plus 4 is equal to 31. I can solve that algebraically or on the calculator, and I would probably use the calculator because once you get good at solving equations with one variable on the calculator, that's the easiest and fastest option. But I'm going to do it on the board also. 3t equals 31 minus 7 minus 4 is 27. Divide both sides by 3. t equals 9 which is not a choice, but it's closest to 10 years. Now let's read the question more carefully and see why I came out with 9 instead of 10. T is not the age of the catfish in years. And you often have to read carefully because College Board really could give you the choice between 9 and 10. T is years after the first year of life. So to get the age of the catfish, you have to add 1 to T, and that gives me 10 as my answer. A little bit tricky, but that is what College Board is testing for, is not just the math skills, but the careful reading skills, even under time pressure. Checking that I've done everything they asked for. They want the, according to the model, which of the following is closest to the expected age to the nearest whole year of a flathead catfish. I did use flathead. 31 inches long, I did use 31, and I solved correctly. Now let's do it on the calculator. I go to y equals. Anytime you have an equation with only one variable, you can put the left side in y1, the right side in y2, choose an x window that includes any possible answer. So I want a number bigger than 106. I chose 120 for my x max. Your y window doesn't matter, but I do like to see what I'm graphing. Since y equals 31 is my right hand side, I chose y max of 50 and graph it, and I get something that looks like this. There's 31, and there's the steep line, not exactly where it should be, but close enough. And then second trace for calculate. Choice 5 is intersect. I hit enter three times, and I get x equals 9, y equals 31, where I entered an x, 3x plus 4 instead of 3t plus 4. So x is my t value, which again is years after the first year of life. So the actual age of the fish when x is 9 would be 10, and that is the answer I chose by hand. And that's my preferred method, method for, ver for equations with only one variable. Left side y1, right side y2, find the intersection. I'm not using mental energy. I take the SAT every time one comes out, and it's a lot of work. The more I can shift to using AAA batteries instead of thinking, the better. So I'll solve on the calculator often. In any case, come back soon for my next math video. With math, there's always more.